Hello everyone, we will continue the topic Webdyn Pro ABAP and in the previous videos, we started with OVS as a part of component usage. Firstly, we understood what is OVS, how it is different from search help and then we understood the various phases or steps of OVS. Now, in this particular video, we will start with the practical part. We will take a requirement and based upon that requirement, we will go for the various phases. We will write the logic into the various phases. So what is the requirement? Suppose I am running this already developed WebDen Pro component. I am running WebDen Pro component through WebDen Pro application. You all know application is just like a transaction port. Now what customer is saying? Customer is saying, yes, from this F4 help, customer will choose the sales order number. Suppose if I will go for go, customer will choose the specific row. Suppose customer is choosing this particular record. So whatever the sales order number which customer is selecting, Sales organization, distribution channel and division should appear automatically. Customer will not pass. So whatever the sales organization, distribution channel and division for that particular sales order number, it should appear automatically. And you all know we want to populate multiple fields. Now, whenever we want to populate multiple fields, we need to take the help of OVS in Web10 Pro app. So what I will do, I will simply create a Web10 Pro component. We will develop the various label, input field, text views, and then we will perform the various steps. Suppose if I will create a Web10 Pro component through SC80 transaction code. So I will go to SC80 transaction code. I will give some name to the WebDen Pro component. From the drop down, you can choose WebDen Pro component. Suppose I will give the name ZWD underscore OVS underscore sales. Suppose we are developing a OVS for sales document number. See, we are only developing for sales document number the values of other fields appear automatically. So I'm creating a OVS for sales order number. I will go for yes. Yes, I want to create the object. I'll just wait. I think system is hand. Okay, I'll just give the name again. I'll just press enter again. Okay, yes. Now it's working. I will just give that description. Demo on OVS for sales order number. You all know whatever the name of the component, it is automatically coming into window and the view name is by default main. I will go for OK and I will save this as a local object. Now I will simply, simply go for the various things. Best way, firstly, activate. Go to display mode and activate. Right click and simply activate. Now we will design the, okay. It was already in the read only mode. I came to change mode. I will activate this. Now, firstly, we will design the layout. You all know whenever you want to design the layout, you need to go for view. So in the view, we will design the layout. So we'll simply design label input field, label, label, label. These will go for text view because here these are just displaying values. Here user will not do anything. Yes. Whatever the sales order number we are selecting, these values will appear automatically. So these all are just like output. So we'll simply, simply take this as text view. 
So now we will done that. So I will simply right click on to, I just go to change mode. Best practice, always, always take it as matrix layout because matrix layout is most preferable layout. I will just take it as matrix layout. I will right click on to root UI element container, insert element. Suppose firstly, I will take a label. Suppose I am saying sales underscore LBL. This is your label. Now we will simply give that text. It is your sales order number. Now maximum people will think at this point of time, why you are hard coding in one language? Yes, in the future, we will go for the topics because we should not hard code in one language. We have a dedicated topic, OTR, online text repository. That at that time, I will explain also, we should never hard code in one language because it will create translation issues. Now I will simply create a input field. I will right click on to root UI element container, insert element. And I will write sales underscore in. This is our input field. Now we will simply bind this label is for this input field. I will say sales order number input field. Now we will go for other three things. Insert elements. Now you can simply check for sales organization. What are the fields in that table in VBAK table? Suppose if I will go for VBAK table for sales organization, it is VKORG. Suppose if I will write sales for sales organization, it is VKORG distribution channel DBZ. So it is good to just give the same to same name. So I will write VKORG underscore LBL. It is our label. Now we want in the new line, so I will take it as matrix head data. You all know we need to change. So I will simply, I'll just check first. It is matrix on. Okay. I'll just change it to matrix layout. Now I will take it as matrix head data so that it will start from the beginning of the new line. Now you can see we have from the beginning of the new line. Now I will provide the text. It is your sales organization. Now I will simply go for text view. Insert element. VKORG underscore TV. This is our text view. Why we are going for text view? Because it's just like a display purpose. Yes. Now we need to do the binding. This label is for this text view. Now I will go for distribution channel. Insert element. This is VTWEG. VTWEG underscore LBL. This is our label. Now I will simply take it as matrix head data because I need to start from the beginning of the new line. Now I will go for that description. That text is distribution channel. Now I will simply take a text view for this distribution channel. I will go for create. VTWEG underscore TV text view. I will take it as text view. Now I will create the binding between these two. VTWEG underscore text view. Now we will go for division. Division is SPART. 
I will simply go for insert element. S P A R T underscore L B L. This is our label. Again, I will take it as matrix head data because it should start from the new line. I will provide the text. This is your division. Now I will simply create a text view for the division. S P A R T underscore T. It is our text view. Now I will create the binding between these two. This label is for this text view. I will go for save. Now you all know we need to bind these with the fields. So what I will do, I will simply go to component controller and I will create a node and we will go for four attributes into that. So I will right click on to the context. I will create a node. Suppose name of the node is sales. I will go for OK. Now you can add the attributes one by one or you can simply take the help also from the component of structure. Create using the wizard attributes from the component of structure. I will go for VBA. We'll go for VBELN, VKORG, VTWEG and SPART. Now we will simply go to the view because this node will not automatically appear into the view. We simply simply have to drag drop. So from the context, I will simply simply drag and drop from the component controller to the view. So I will simply drag and drop this particular node. Done. Now we will bind with the various layout elements. This is our sales order number. I will simply bind. We have a property here value. I will bind. This is your VBELN. Now we will go for VKORG. Now for text view, the name of the property is text. And use it is appearing in red color. So you will understand automatically. This is our VKORG. This is our VTWEG. And this will be our SPART. I will simply go for save. Now you all know how I can run this WebDen Pro component with the help of WebDen Pro application. So I will create a WebDen Pro application. Create Web Dyn Pro application. Same name is coming automatically. Suppose I will write sales order OBS. I will go for OK. I will go for save. Ignore this pop up. I will go for local object. Now you can see we are getting one more thing here. Web Dyn Pro application. Now, firstly, go to display mode and activate each and everything because we did the changes into view, component controller, we created the application. So it's better to activate each and everything. Now I will run this Web Dyn Pro application. I will go for test. I will allow. And you can see various things are coming. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the practical part of OBS. We took a requirement. What is the requirement? What customer is saying, I will only only choose the value of sales order number from the F for help 
value of sales organization distribution channel and division should appear automatically so what we will do we want to populate multiple fields so what we will do we'll simply take the help of obs so as a part of that we started with the component creation with the help of sc80 we created the component we simply went to the view and we designed the various layout elements. We designed the label, input field, text view. We simply go for the relation between the label, input field, label, text view. In the component controller context, we created the node. We took the four attributes. We binded those attributes with the input field and the text view. At the last, we created the WebDen Pro application because to run a WebDen Pro component, we require a application. Now, these all things are coming and it depends upon the requirement. If customer is saying, I want this input field, so you can simply take the input fields. Now, in the next video, we will assign the OVS to this sales order number. We will write the logic into the various phases that part we will continue in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.